So Growing in Britain has a, a standard, it's a robust standard that is based on the government's uh, guidelines for managing woodlands, which is called the UK Forestry Standard. So in order to enter the Grown in Britain supply chain and get a license, the timber and the wood product needs to come from a woodland with one of those approved management plans. So when the Grown in Britain license is awarded to that woodland, it can then follow the timber out of that forest or wood through the supply chain. So it gives assurance not only for sustainability and legality, but also for provenance from Britain. We have roughly half of our woodlands undermanaged. Woods that are a little bit like this, a bit of a tangled mess. They've not been that well managed. So Grown in Britain is not only about an assurance system, but it's also about a movement to change that and bring these woods back into management. Because when these woods are in management, then you get better biodiversity, better wildlife, you store more carbon, and it's good for people to come and enjoy when they're more open and more accessible. Sawmills like this that use hardwoods and softwoods are creating products out of these ash trees that we can use in construction and build sites and all kinds of other products. They're adding value to our wonderful British timbers. And things like this thermally modified ash can be used as cladding and as decking and also internally as well. So there's a, there's a whole range of British softwoods and hardwoods that we can use that come from British assured forests and woods. Growing in Britain, a bit like our food and other local products, it supports local economies. Jobs in the woods, getting the trees felled, managing them, replanting them, and also jobs hauling the timber to sawmills, having that timber turned into boards that then become construction materials and lots of other products. There are a lot of jobs that we can increase in those local markets if we look for the Growing in Britain brand and that local provenance.